up everybody? It's your boy Chip back at you from RPG Baby. And today we're talking about the triple B2. This is the sequel to the biggest, baddest rebuildable tank out there from our friends at Bandy Ray. And this one was designed with help from our boy. Vaping with Twisted Four Twinner. Shout out to you, my man. Hope to see you at the con in Richmond this coming month. How's it going, guys? Today we got a new one from our friends at Vandy Vape, and this is the Triple Two RTA, designed by Twisted Four Nineteen. So you've got their customary tube packaging for this guy. And this one comes with the acrylic as well as the glass. And here's all the goodies that you get. You got your 510 drip tip adapter, blue screwdriver, extra grub screws, extra o-rings, and the allen key. So, here we have the Triple V2, and you can see that it's got wider airflow channels. It's also got this cool acrylic drip tip and tank to go with it. Um, one of the newest features is the slide filling top, which you know we love here at RVA Vapes. And with the acrylic, it holds uh, 7.5 mils of e-liquid. With the glass, it holds the standard 4 now let's take this bad boy apart and see what we got going on underneath the deck. You can see that the chimney itself is a little bit wider as well as the inside there. And still got that conical shape to give you much better flavor. And you can see the flare for the 7.5 mils of e-liquid. Then you've also got the deck. Now this one I already threw a build on it because we're going to do a little tutorial on that today. Um, and you can see it's a little bit different design. They've got the three right there. These two are cut this way and the ones in the middle are actually cut this way. It's an interesting new design that allows you to dual, single, or triple this guy. With the first one, you couldn't really do a single coil in it. Um, the dual coil I liked, but it just had a little bit too much air, so we went with the triple coil. And this is actually the exact same build that I've got in my V1, so that way we can compare it apples to apples. Um, but if you look down underneath there, you can really get a good look at that airflow. And you can see it's got the little holes drilled out underneath there. So it's the same single center channel, but they've got those holes drilled out there. So that's going to give you a much swooshier kind of smooth airflow. And that's really the idea of what we're looking at today. Um, so I've already got the coils installed. So really the wicking is the only part that we're going to go over today. Um, the coil installation is fairly simple. They even give you this little tool with it that allows you to measure the legs on your coils so that you can get them pretty much spot on. Um, they want about a three millimeter leg. And the other thing they want is you can kind of see here how they're spaced so that they cover up that full airflow channel in the center. Um, but we're gonna go over how to tweak all of that as well. We wanna go ahead and wick this bad boy up. Take some of our cotton bacon prime here, pull off a, a section of it, and do a little bit more, like so. Give it the old Scottish roll technique, twist the ends, simply going to thread it through. Okay. 
and then rinse and repeat boys and girls now the trick to wicking this guy is when you get to those outside ones if you look at the juice flow channel right here you can see that it's actually skinnier on the sides so what I've learned with the V1 and I'm gonna apply this to the V2 is that you want to cut it at an angle like this so I'm going to go ahead and fluff that cotton up a little bit and just go right with the angle of the juice flow so cut it just like that and then you mirror that on the other side because it's obviously facing the other direction just like that And then same thing with this side, cut it with the angle of the juice flow. <coughs> now, when we go to add e-liquid to it, the last thing we want to do is just gently rake it out. And that's going to open up the pores as well as give you um, a nice good seal on this juice flow channel right here. So, you just lightly rake it like that and get all the pores opened up. I usually rake it a little bit more in the center than on the sides just because there's more cotton there, obviously. So, debulk it. I usually start with about, you know, five or six strokes depending. Um, I'll do like three or four on the sides there just to get it up and running. And then I always put one side in first. And kind of go from left to right, if you will, or right to left, depending on how you're looking at it. That way you can make sure you've got a good seal all the way across the bottom. Now you may notice that not all the cotton goes down into the juice well. That's on the sides, not that big a deal because we cut it that way on purpose so what that does is allows the cotton that's down in the juice channel to absorb more juice and that's really the whole idea behind wicking this tank so you can see we just tucked it down in there right in that little lip where the juice flow goes now we're going to do the same thing on this side And you don't want it to be super tight down in there, so you should be able to see a little bit of gap. Because if you pack too tight down in this little juice flow channel right here, it's going to give you dry hits, and we definitely don't want that. Can't quite wick fast enough. So keep it nice and fluffy and light through there. Make sure you're covering the whole basin, so all the way across you want good coverage. But it doesn't have to be packed in there tight. A loose fit has from what we found works a lot better on the V1 and there you go so the only other thing we gotta do is fill, juice it up fill up the tank and we're good to go so this is one of the bigger tanks that's out there on the market but it also has the triple coil and allows you to hold a little bit more juice capacity fucking clouds so um, you saw the build tutorial how to wick it how to do all that good stuff so now we're gonna talk about the tank a little bit more first of all we got your parameters here this bad boy is a big tank don't fool yourselves it is very large and in charge so from 
top to bottom you're looking at 45 millimeters tall around here it is 28 millimeters at the base and with this bubble on it that bumps out to 32 so you can see it just barely fits on this uh, blade mod which is a dual 21700 tiniest bit of overhang so for those of you out there that are really worried about the overhang make sure you got a big mod to put this bad boy on because this thing is big um, it does hold four mils of juice and I was wrong it actually holds eight mils not seven or seven and a half so with this bubble tank you got eight mils of juice and I love that so I've got the matte black version here and it does come in four color options which I'm gonna throw up right now and those four different colors do all come with the acrylic drip tip and bubble tank so the blue and the black go together which is fine by me you know I love me some blue um, and each one comes with its own color variation so that's cool um, we threw a triple build on here because that's what it's called so why not give it the full pull plus this way I can compare it to the original version and tell you what's better and what's worse and all that good stuff because I used to run that one I tried it with a dual but it had a little too much extra airflow even with the four millimeter inner diameter coils so I went to three three millimeter diameter coils and that seemed to balance out the airflow ratio perfectly but you can build it dual or single in this one which is a cool new feature um, now I showed you the airflow a little bit well it's got that honeycomb thing going on in the, in the bottom um, now that I've had a chance to try it and vape it out I really like it it adds a lot more flavor to it I think because it's not just that straight trough like it was in the first one but it kind of gives it a little bit of a smoothness it does add a little bit of drag so this one's probably not as airy as the first version but I like it because it's got better flavor now I showed you it's got the nifty slide top on the for the fill port that's a big big plus in our book you know but this one's one of the better ones that I've seen because it does have some force to it you really have to push it it's not just an easy pop on pop off that could wear out over time so this is probably the best quality slide top that we've reviewed so far it does come with your 17 and a half millimeter board drip tip right there and that's a big beefy drip tip and you can see it's got a nice large chimney so it doesn't restrict any of the chimney flow but this thing is bad boys and girls it is bad so now that we've gone over the parameters i want to break it down to you a little bit um it does have slightly wider airflow channels down here that you can see and that's an interesting choice because it has the honeycomb like i said underneath the coils themselves and that's kind of a weird combination but i like the way they did it because what that does is that allows for um an easier draw and what I mean by that is you know how the mouth to lung type of apes or other rebuildable tanks you have to feel like you pull a little bit more forcefully with this one even though it's got that honeycomb pattern there which you would think inside the the deck which you think would extend it and make it a higher drag so you have to pull harder with that extra airflow size on the bottom you actually don't have to pull at all you pull very lightly on this guy and it just whoosh, lights up let's break it down with the pros and the cons um, the new colorways are really cool I like those so that's a pro the uh, flavor on this guy is much improved and the first version had great flavor so if you can imagine like a 5x multiplier flavor on this one that's really what you're dealing with um, the bigger tank is a huge plus in my opinion the only gripe I had about the first one was the four millimeter tank with how high you push these tanks with three coils in them wasn't quite enough so you had to fill it up a little bit more often this one's got double the juice capacity and the acrylic tank comes with it so that's a huge plus in my book um, what else what else what else what else what else the slide top as we talked about that's a huge plus um, the building of it is a lot easier it's got uh, different orientations and larger screws that I feel like have a, a bigger thread pattern on them so they're gonna hold a little bit tighter the channel itself is, is a little bit wider it does have that honeycomb pattern to it but it's also got that swoosh so you're getting air kind of in from the sides to bounce off the sides of the coil and I think that really helps the flavor um, 
slightly wider bore chimney not huge huge difference but it's probably about a mil half a mil bigger than the original one i know it's hard to see without the the lighting proper but you know it's um it's everything i loved about the first one just tweaked or done better um the bigger juice capacity is a plus the new honeycomb airflow is a plus the slide top is a huge plus and aesthetically i think it looks a little bit nicer this matte black finish is much better than that shiny black that i had on the last version so um overall if you're looking for a big bad rebuildable tank this one has to get two very enthusiastic thumbs up it's close to a third one but the only reason i haven't given it that is because the rebuildable stuff just seems to be keeping par with the mesh like flavor wise i still think the mesh pro might have it by a scotch but it could be something that I did with the build because it's not quite acting 100%. So I think I need to wick that cotton in there a little bit tighter through the coil. But that's my fault for not building it properly. I was rushing it to get through and show you guys the video. So anytime you're using like fuse claptons or anything that's multiple gauge wire, aliens, anything like that. I personally always tend to wick it through the cotton or through the coil itself just a smidge tighter so that you don't get any spitting or dry hits or burning of the cotton. This one I left it a little bit loose for the video and I didn't bother to correct it and that's why I think I'm missing just a little bit of performance. So I would say it's right on par uh, but being that you have to build it I still think that the Mesh Pro is just as good. So that being said. Um, we're going to throw up our coupon code for this guy right across the bottom here. So that way you can pick yours up for 10% off. And that's at shop.rvavapes.com. Also, uh, we want to invite you, everyone out there in vape land, to come on down to RVA Vapes. We're hosting a pre-party for the NVE National Vapor Expo that's coming to Richmond. The convention is August 25th and 26th. We are hosting the pre-party Friday night before August 24th. It starts at 5 p.m. I'm going to throw the flyer up for it right here. Make sure you check out our Facebook page and find the event. And you can find out all the details about it. Our friends from Giant Vapor are going to be here. Um, we've got some special celebrities that are potentially going to drop by. As well as um, the guys from Meepod. So shout out to them. We're going to have possibly some one-off special edition Meepods here. Uh, you just have to show up to find out. Last but certainly not least, I want to thank, thank, thank you guys so much for giving us all the love. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. we got new reviews for you every Saturday, so make sure you check that out and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Other than that, we don't got really much else to say on this one. It's just a bigger, badder version of what we liked before. So, if you want to smoke, that's your business. If you don't, Come on,